As for most gacha games, equipment is an integral part of character progression and Wuthering Waves is no different. So let's talk about the ecosystem, how it works, the good and the bad, and how to efficiently spend your resources so that you don't run into problems later into the game. Short disclaimer, as this video is based on the CBT2, it may change into the future. I will pin a comment if that is the case. That being said, let's get the first and most important thing out of the way. The ecosystem in itself is not stamina gated and that is huge. You obtain echoes by defeating enemies in the overworld, granting a percent chance to drop the defeated enemy's echo. This chance is dependent on the terminal level of your databank and increases from 10% at level 1 to 20% at level 10. However, the terminal level also determines the max rank, or in other words, rarity, at which you can find echoes. More about that later on. Each echo comes with their own unique echo ability. This ability is unique to the echo itself and does not change. That means this snip snap will always throw fireballs and with ref will always deal arrow AoE. However, echoes do come with different attributes. The attribute determines their sonata effect and hence the set bonus. Furthermore, every echo has two main stats, whereas the first stat is random and the second stat will always be either flat HP or attack, depending on the echo itself. For example, a horde oise will always have flat HP as secondary main stat. So let's look at my fusion dread main miners. Two of my dread main miners have the fusion sonata effect and one has the healing bonus. The latter also features double HP as main stat, whereas the other two have attack percent and defense percent as primary main stat respectively. Each echo can be leveled up, unlocking a new convened tuning slot every 5 level. However, this does not apply to rank 2 echoes. Rank 2 echoes cannot be tuned and cap out at level 10. Echoes of rank 3 and above can be tuned and will gain a random substat when done so. Rank 5 Echoes cap out at level 25 and can have up to 5 substats. These are random and fixed once rolled. What you see is what you get. This means you can have really crappy substats such as my crownless here, featuring an impressive 70 flat attack and 40 flat defense. Or you can have god rolls and get something like my inferno rider. On the other hand, there's no RNG regarding upgrade rolls, only your main stats can be upgraded. Every Resonator, as the characters in this game are called, can equip a maximum of 5 Echoes, whereas the first and topmost slot will determine the Echo ability. This means you can equip one Echo ability per character, whereas the other 4 slots will grant you stats and set bonuses. Set bonuses come in 2 and 5 pieces. This allows you to have a certain freedom, such as equipping a really good Echo ability and still being able to gain 2 2 piece bonuses from the other 4 slots basically allowing you to have one flex slot. However, and this is only my thoughts on how it may turn out when the game is released and we have theory crafted everything, getting a 5 piece set with good substat rolls will be very difficult and time consuming. Next, echoes also come with a cost, or load more specifically. Depending on your databank level, your maximum load will be in between 8 and 12. The total sum of all equipped echoes costs cannot exceed your load limit. This means bringing a higher cost and hence stronger echo will limit your building possibilities further down the line for that character. Furthermore, echoes come in different ranks or rarities. The rank determines the base stats of the echo. A good example for that would be my Saber Boar, which I have two of. One rank 2 and one rank 3. While they have the same main stats, the stats of the rank 3 boar are higher. Let's talk a bit about the good and the bad. The good is obvious, you are not stamina gated, farming for good echoes. However, you are limited by the amount of enemies the entire map has each day, as well as respawn timer for bosses. For the bad side, leveling your echoes still costs you echo development materials, which in turn are indeed stamina gated. This also means that you probably want to level any echo to level 5 and set a tuning first before getting it all the way to max level. If the first tuning rolls into shitty stats, you at least have preserved some XP materials. Furthermore, at least as of now, there are only 9 Sonata resonance types in the game. One for boosting each element, one for healing, one for attack and one for energy regeneration. 
This limits set building quite a bit, as you probably just want to get the elemental damage percent for DPS characters and maybe fill it up with a more generic attack percent or energy reckon and get heal percent for healers. However, this can easily be fixed by new Sonata set bonuses in the future, so at least as of now I would not worry about this too much. Yet. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Peace.